tell you guys, uh, yesterday I got to Chuk Micronesia and I checked into the Carasa Hotel and um, I just stayed here for one night. I'm moving over to another hotel called Level 5, um, but I just wanted to give you guys like a hotel room tour just in case you're coming here. You'll know what the hotel rooms look like inside. Um, so I don't know if I, if I would stay here again. <laughs> the rooms are pretty cheap. I think they're only like $80, but there are some ants around the kitchen. Um, you'll see some cracks in the walls and stuff like that. Um, this is the thing that really concerns me is just like the, at the very top of the ceiling, there's mold up there and it smells like mold. Like all night I was smelling mold. But if you see that electrical outlet up there, that's also right above the shower on the ceiling. So if moisture gets up there in there in that electrical outlet, it could potentially start a fire. I don't, you know, obviously I'm not their electrician, so maybe they have some way of preventing a fire or maybe it's, it just doesn't work or something, but um, just, <laughs> it's kind of a red flag. Um, that is not my black hair. So yeah, it's it was kind of a shock coming in here last night, um, but I'm not staying here uh, another night. So I just stayed here for one night. Usually I'll just book a place for one night, see what it what it actually looks like in real life. Because if you book a place, you know, just based on the pictures online, sometimes you get to the hotel room and it's completely different, you know, than what it looked like online. Um, so this is kind of, you know, that's kind of what this place is like too. Like obviously the pictures wouldn't show, you know, anything like this. So um, yeah, I didn't know what I was walking into, but anyways, I stayed here for one night. I'm moving over to another hotel called Level 5 and I went into their hotel rooms yesterday to like check them out. Um, and those ones are just normal hotel rooms. So anyways, I'm moving over there. Um, but Chuk Micronesia, it's really easy to get around him. Um, just to give you guys an idea, from the very top of the island to the very bottom, you can walk 50 minutes. It's a 50 minute walk from the top to the to the bottom of the island. Um, so it's really easy just to walk and, and kind of get around the island that way. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm super hungry and thirsty though. <laughs> I didn't eat anything yesterday. I just got on a flight early in the morning, came over, slept, and then I've been sleeping ever since and I just got up. So um, yeah, I do wanna try to go snorkeling um, down at the south. So I'm hoping to get on like a tour or maybe just go down there myself with my snorkeling gear. But um, yeah, that's kind of my plan for the next couple days before I head over to the Marshall Islands. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. No McDonald's, no Burger King, no Starbucks, nothing like that. Um, yeah, it's a really cute island though. Very fun just to go walk around and very safe. Ooh, it looks like there's a snail. They have snails everywhere. It's a big snail too, big shell. So um, yeah, right now I'm just walking over to the other hotel. It's only 15 minutes, uh, 15 minute walk away. We definitely do have some pollution or some trash issues here on Chuuk. But um, yeah, it's populated with around 50,000 people. So that's kind of expected. When you walk down that street, people come out of their homes to, I don't know, basically see what you're doing um, or walk down. Oh, yeah, I'm just going down to level. Guys, I am at the cafe next to level five hotel, or I guess this is a level five cafe and I just got some fish and chips. This is um, some local uh, reef fish. And then of course they just give you some chips with it. Cool little place to come to. Mm -hmm. The fish is so fresh. All right, guys, new hotel room. So this is level five hotel. I just went and ate at their cafe and um, it was really good. I got some fish and chips and some coffee. Wow, they actually give you this entire water filtration um, inside the room. That's actually the only time I've ever seen a, like a whole water machine inside of a room before. That's pretty cool. Um, this is like a reading lamp, looks like television, AC. And then uh, I think they do have rooms with only a single bed, but I think they were sold out, so I got the double bed. Um, you have a little balcony outside. I'm so excited to go explore Micronesia today, you guys. It looks so pretty and green. And then let's look inside the bathroom. Yeah, a pretty standard bathroom, it looks like. They do give you a hair dryer though which is always, <laughs> always um, appreciated. Um, and it's already plugged into the wall. That's pretty cool. 
Um, so yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. You can't be too choosy with the hotels um, over in Micronesia. They don't have any chain hotels. Um, not that this is a bad hotel. I'm not saying that at all, but um, they just don't have, they don't have a, a lot of options. So the majority of the hotels are uh, mom and pop hotels. You know, they're run by a family. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, I'm really excited for today and tomorrow. Um, I just cannot wait. Um, so I do want to try to go diving today, but I don't know how I'm going to get on a tour. I know that the Blue Lagoon Dive Shop, a truck stop, um, dive dive shop um i know that they both have tours i tried to call and email them today but i didn't get a hold of anyone so i think i'm just gonna go walk down to their shop it's like a 24 minute walk away so um i think i'm gonna head down there and even if i can't go uh scuba diving i can still go snorkeling all right guys so this entire island is only about an hour to walk from north to south so i thought i would venture out today maybe walk I don't know maybe halfway maybe all the way I don't know I'm just kind of exploring uh kind of the local local roads and little shops and things that they have looks like this was the post office but it might be shut down it is a Sunday so there's probably a lot more closed today than usual you guys they have an ace hardware here too they actually have an ace hardware in uh, Palau as well so pretty interesting. It's very safe to go out and walk around these islands. This is one of the safest places in the world is the South Pacific. So um, if somebody offers you a ride, I don't think it would be unsafe. I got a ride earlier from another lady. Hello. Hi. Um, but yeah, everyone's just super friendly here. Wow, you guys look at this beautiful water. So, so pretty over here. one of their churches they are very religious um in the pacific islands there's uh, a lot of seventh day adventists adventists um and there's also a lot of mormons uh, a lot of missionaries that come over here there were some when i was going through immigration uh i don't know if i don't know how many mormons there are in the actual population or if the mormon churches just come over and set up a, a lot of their churches here um but yeah when you go throughout the pacific islands there's Lots and lots and lots of missionaries that come over. So you'll see them uh, passing by when you go through immigration and when you go to the airport. Stop, hotel and restaurant. If you guys are coming here and you're wondering what it looks like, uh, this is it. I'm gonna stop in here and see if uh, their restaurant might be open. I think this is it. Hi. Hi. Oh, it might be that building down there. We'll find out. That person's running for re-election over there. This is a very cute island and there's just not a lot to do on it to be honest. So it's really their main street too to get from north to south so this is where all the cars are. It's amazing how many cars they have parked everywhere for the amount of people that they have on the island. The island itself it only has about 50,000 people but there's so many vehicles everywhere. The only thing that might make this place a little bit better is if it had a beach. There's no beaches here on the entire island. I'm going to head down to the Mormon church and the Mormon basketball court. I just want to see what it looks like, basically. Um, there's just not a lot else to to do if you don't get um, some time to go diving. So, 
you guys are coming, make sure to reserve the diving. You can do it with the truck stop or with the Blue Lagoon dive shop, but it's really important to get it ahead of time because if you're here and you don't have a reservation, there's nothing else to do. I've been here for two days. This is my third day, so it's been a little boring. <laughs> oh, here's some abandoned buildings. There's something to look at. Mountains are very pretty though. Here's the Mormon or the LDS church here in Chuuk. They have a basketball court. It's a Sunday too. I assume that they probably did service today. Man, they got a property right off of the water too. But they have some good views in there. You guys, so we're passing towards some of the residential areas. This is actually the Supreme Court um, of uh, Micronesia over here, this blue building. Um, but yeah, kind of a, it's an interesting place to come see. Um, if you're not diving though, there's not a lot else to do here. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to reserve a spot to go diving and uh, I'm leaving tomorrow. So I don't wanna go diving today um, anyways, because it can hurt your eardrums, but this is still kind of an interesting place just to come look around. Um, they have really, really beautiful big mountains. Oh, no. I'm just walking. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody stops when you're here. They stop and ask if you need a ride, which is nice. Um, but, yeah, they have some really beautiful mountains over here. Um, really nice place. Oh, hi. Yeah, everybody just kind of, everybody's very friendly. There's only 50,000 people on this island, so quite literally everybody talks to you when you're home. There's lots of garbage everywhere. I'm Baptist too. Yeah. yeah, different kind of Baptist I think, but that's cool. If you're drinking on the road here, do they pull you over and get mad? Ah, no, no. No, they don't I'm care. Fine. Oh, gotcha. I'm working with the government, they don't care. Oh, gotcha. I get yeah. drink at any time. <laughs> yeah. They don't, they don't care. We have that in one of our states. I'm from yeah. the U.S. and Mississippi, you can drink. Well, you can't, yeah. you're not supposed to drink, but you can have an open container yeah. in the car. Yeah, especially I work with the government. That's why they don't, they don't mind. They, they, they don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. <laughs> we don't have to bother you. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So I just drink and, you know, just good. You know, because I don't make trouble. Yeah. Street. So the majority religion here it's Baptist Christian, but it's not the same kind of Baptist as a like a Southern or like a um, uh, Baptist that you'd see in another country. It's it's a different kind of Baptist, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's, uh, there's like two two different uh, Baptists here in uh, I mean three. Three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, same Baptist, but it's uh, uh, different. Like uh, I don't know. Different denomination. Uh, yeah. But. They worship the same God. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a uh, different, uh, different, what they call call it is. Like a different denomination yeah, or a different, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. different, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, but I saw they, some. They, they call, call them Baptist. Oh, oh, gotcha, yeah. 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 I saw some uh, LDS missionaries when mm -hmm. I and arrived there's, here. There's Baptist this one over there. Yeah. There's over there. And there's one next to uh, um, L5. Oh, L5. Oh, there is. Oh, that's yeah. neat. Mm -hmm. huh. so oh, they, that's they cool. call them Baptist, but they're, they're different. Uh, I don't know. But I, that, as I, I said, they, they worship with the same God. Same God. Yeah. yeah. Same, same Jesus. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So uh, where are you from? Oh, the U.S. Oh, which yeah. are in the U.S. Oh, I, oh yeah. yeah. I always travel out there. Have I you, go to LA, go to Denver. Oh, really? Rio, uh, yeah. Do you have a favorite place? Uh, yeah, I, I really like, uh, because I like to go shopping at uh, uh, LA. Uh-huh. Mm, uh, LAX. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's uh, cheaper there also. Mm. Yeah, yeah, when you have things imported on yeah. the island, it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you take United, a United flight over to LA? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. United. Yeah. And uh, I will go also Hawaii. I, I really like uh, to go to Hawaii. Just oh, to yeah. Go on the beach. Yeah. Mm. Hawaii is always good, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's expensive, though. Hawaii is so expensive. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Especially when you stay in Waikiki. Oh, the hotel okay. is I know. Really you can't expensive. get a hotel room for like less than $400 a night. That's yeah. crazy. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's cool. We're supposed to go to uh, last Sunday. Uh -huh. Supposed to go to Guam and Hawaii and uh, Denver. But oh. since the typhoon, that's why the flight is is full. Oh, because the typhoon. Yeah. Oh. The typhoon. That's why the the flight is full right now. Oh man, was anyone so injured? Anyway, from that you typhoon? Take, or you want to take picture up there and come back down oh, here? Oh no, I gotta I gotta go to my hotel. I'm right. I'm meeting a friend okay. over here, but <laughs> thank you so much for the ride. I really I'm appreciate sorry, it. Relative, uh, also. Oh, uh, nice. This one is my relative. Oh my really? Uncle, uh, uh, hotel. Oh, it's a really nice hotel. Yeah. So uh, tell my I, 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 I said and, uh, it was great. <laughs> yeah. The Mita yeah. family is nice. It's my in-law. Oh, oh nice. What's your name? McKinsey. McKinsey. Nice to meet All you, right. McKinsey. McKinsey. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I was trying to get my laundry done. I dropped it off yesterday and I went to go pick it up and they still weren't done with it. And they said, Oh, we won't be done with it until tomorrow. And my flight leaves early in the morning, so I can't risk it. Um, so I'm just gonna have to head over to Marshall Islands and hopefully get my clothes clean there. Oh, I've been wearing the same outfit for like two days. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I need to wash my clothes. All right guys, it's my last morning in Micronesia before heading out. Got some toast, some eggs, and some coffee. Two minutes over to the airport from my hotel. So you guys, I have about, let's see, like 40 more minutes until I can actually um, board my flight. <laughs> I thought I would go over a little bit of Micronesian history with you guys. Um, so Micronesia has kind of been passed around for years and years and years. Uh, it was originally found by the Spanish. They thought it was going to be like a new Philippines. Um, and so it was originally uh, found around, I think it was like 14, the end of the 1400s. Um, it was found by Spain. And then after Spain, Germany purchased Micronesia from Spain around the 1800s. Later on, Japan took over Micronesia. And then in World War II, the United States took Micronesia from Japan. Um, Micronesia, especially Chuuk, this island, uh, it's one of the most famous places. It's, it, they call it one of the four meccas um, for wreck diving. Wreck diving is when you go scuba diving and you go see in a, a big ship, right? Like a wrecked ship. So the ship that you can come see in Micronesia is a Japanese ship uh, that was taken down by the U.S. Uh, today, Micronesia uses USD. They're not part of the United States. They're not a territory of the United States anymore. They, um, they're an independent sovereign nation, um, but they do still use USD, and the United States provides their national defense from neighboring countries, similar to Palau. Um, so yeah, it has a very kind of a kind of a unique history but also not a unique history because very very similar to Palau and also the Marshall Islands as well um but yeah there's a couple Japanese uh tanks or not tanks um guns that you can go see here and then of course you can go diving and see that giant ship so I missed out on that unfortunately but it's okay also, you guys, I might make a video just for my flight today. Uh, I have three layovers. I think that's the most layovers I've ever had for one flight. I'm trying to think of when I've had three layovers. I might have had three layovers before. Um, anyways, I, I stay on the same airplane. It's flight. Uh, it's United Airlines. It's UA-155. And this flight goes from, it goes from this island. So we're going from Chuuk to Pompeii to... Uh, so are we going? We have two more layovers. Um, I can't remember, but I might add the video footage of going to those places. I'm going to have a window seat, so I might take some videos of what those other islands look like from an aerial view. Mm -hmm. 